the world's most beautiful women, wearing the world's most acclaimed hats. And if he is the god of hats, then this will be his follower's bible. And in the gospel, according to Philip Treacy, rule number one is this. Everyone looks better in a hat. Everyone. You know, it's a cheaper, less painful form of cosmetic surgery. So it's, you know, it, it alters the proportions of the face. So many people, though, say, oh, I'm not a hat person. Everybody's a hat person. They just have to find the right hat. Many have found their right hat right here in his Battersea workshop. Hats handcrafted by his international team. James is half Thai, half Swiss, half Welsh, what am I saying? And Yuki's half Japanese. Here they make hats which travel around the world. But in the gospel, according to Treacy, rule number two is this. Money isn't everything. Michael Jackson wanted to buy it. Did he really? Yeah, he offered me £25,000 for it 20 years ago. He saw it in a window in New York and wanted to buy it. And it seemed like a phenomenal amount of money at the time. But, you know, some things aren't about money. But look about the workshop and you'll see evidence the most prestigious customers come here. In this box, feathers that adorned the wedding hat worn by the Duchess of Cornwall. Royalty love Philip Tracy. The public don't always love the results. Rule number three, don't give a damn about what anyone thinks. Thousands and thousands of people hated Princess Beatrice's hat. No, it's an iconic hat in history. Um, it's one of my favorite hats. It's changed perception of hats all over the world. And so he's made hats like this and this. Some hate them, some love them, some can't live without them, including his number one customer. A client so regular, he has a mould of her head in his studio. It's useful to have her head here, so uh, <laughs> I can make a hat on this. Well, you know, we, it's, it's hard to look good with no features and no makeup <laughs> and no I've nothing, so none better. of us look particularly good with no features. I'm in fashion! Rule number four, whatever Lady Gaga wants, Gaga gets. We would be disappointed if Lady Gaga was walking around in a tracksuit. Of course we would. And even though we like to complain about what she's wearing and joke about it, we are entertained by how she looks in the newspaper that day and we love to say how could she or what did she or what is it. But really, it tickles us. He grew up a world away in rural Ireland, opposite a church. He'd peer in at all the weddings, all the hats. An experience taught him this, rule number five. If you want to meet a man, wear a hat. Well, everybody wants to talk to the person in the hat. And uh, the amount of people I've come across who've met their husbands or their boyfriends wearing a hat because everybody wants to talk to the person with the hat on. You know, we're, we're all, there's so many of us in the world today that, you know, sometimes you tune into the one person who has that one little different thing. Sets and sometimes, them apart. sometimes it can be a hat. So remember, there isn't a person alive who can't be improved by a hat. Not a person, not even a bull. Jamie Cubbin, BBC News.